When I go to the museum, I'm less likely to see pictures with black people in them than I am to see pictures with white figures in them. So I want to see black figures in pictures, so I make pictures that have black figures in them. So that's why I'm still making paintings. Painting never did die like everybody claimed it was supposed to have. There's an idea called the black aesthetic that was associated with what came to be known as the black arts movement of the 1970s. After the civil rights movement started in the 1950s, uh, and then after the Watts riots, and after the assassination of Martin Luther King, after the assassination of Mar uh, Malcolm X, after all of those things, the black arts movement was an attempt at that point to have artists do work that was politically oriented. But one of the critiques of that work ended up being that because the work had a political orientation, that it couldn't also be aesthetic at the same time. And because of that, there were a lot of African-American artists who said they didn't want to be considered or thought of as black artists. They wanted to be thought of as just artists. Mm -hmm. The contemporary manifestation of this complicated relationship is this thing people call post-blackness. Mm -hmm. Post-black was supposed to be a reference to a post-black arts movement, but it came to be identified with a kind of post-identity consciousness. And so I set up a series of proposals to explore whether or not there was still potential to make meaningful and satisfying work by starting at the black arts, black aesthetic position as a point of departure. And so this show is actually on some level the fulfillment of that exploration. And now I'm trying to demonstrate that there is actually a great deal of potential left within the idea of the black aesthetic. So you can take that idea and you can do all of this within that idea that it doesn't exist as a limitation at all, really. And you're only limited by your own ability to imagine possibilities within it. Mm -hmm.